one order a one man record crew hello youtube and welcome to Jackson gaming today we're taking a look at gazlo and i'm going to basically showcase his abilities and his talents and give you an idea for a good build for this particular melee specialist so let's start our first game all right so here we are on our little horse with a huge mechanic within attached to our back and so who are you you're basically one of the highest melee DPS characters with one of the lowest HP and armor. In other words, you're a glass cannon, but you're also melee glass cannon. Um, you have three skills. You start with one of them right here. Rocket turret is your main summonable skill, which basically does this. It places a turret, um, or in this case, two turrets, that have a very low cooldown as well, and you can upgrade this to actually... Uh, do a lot more damage and also um, have four tur turrets that you can place later on. Then there is a death laser, and a, this is actually a skill that I'm, I'm not sure how I feel about it, because it's only worth it when you are really charged, and to charge this you have to like hide somewhere, like for example here, and then, so right now I'm going to start charging it, and this is when it does more damage and more AoE attack. Otherwise it's not as useful. These however are pretty good. The turrets are they do quite a lot of damage, I'm going to place them right here, and there you go, Nazi was already running away. Um, then you have Explosion Charge, and I'll show you what this is in a second. I'm gonna place it right here. And this has a 3 second cooldown, and then it explodes and basically um, does AoE damage. Oh, 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 I need to get the gold. AoE damage and also stun. Uh, let's place a turret here so it... Disturb these guys so they can actually take my gold. Don't take my gourd. That's my gourd. Oh, oh. Alright, so I need to run away from here. Because these guys are going to cause a little bit of trouble to me. Um, but as you can see, you do quite a lot of damage even in the beginning. Especially with all the turrets and all the stuff. But um, one thing I forgot to mention is that there's all these uh, bolts that you'll see being dropped. And this is how you replenish your mana with this character. Uh, you replenish your mana by basically collecting these bolts. And these are dropped from enemies and heroes. Enemy heroes uh, that you basically attack. Uh, and this is part of your trade, of course. So here, um, your trade is called Salvager. And basically, when you destroy an enemy stru structure, I'm gonna go heal up a little bit while I'm explaining this. Um, you c collect scrap, which restores 30 mana, and causes your abilities to uh, to cool down twice as fast for three seconds. So the more scrap you collect, the better it is for you because you'll replenish mana and you'll also get a little bit more um, or a little bit less cooldown. So let's uh, start using our turrets a little bit more. This is actually your main spammable skill. And they do quite a lot of damage on top of your main melee damage, so you actually can dish out some crazy DPS. The other thing is that you are probably the highest um, structure damager in the game. So with all of your updates and with everything upgraded completely, you will do some amazingly crazy damage uh, to structure, that is. Right, my first kill, and we stole his gold, excellent. Um, so basically, yeah, like, as soon as I can approach these structures, I'm gonna start doing crazy damage to them, and this will increase dramatically with time. Oh, you run away, you run away. And I need to run away as well, because I'm being attacked. Um, okay, let's go heal up a little bit, and get our first talent. So let's talk about a little bit about talents. Oh, and I forgot to mention that this trade right here, you can actually activate it to dismantle your, uh, your turrets to get some of the mana back. Um... So, it does that as well. If you want to deconstruct something and get some mana back, you can always use it as well. So, Alright, so first uh, talent at level 1, you have Regeneration Master, which increases your health regeneration. There's a uh, upgrade to your, to your main trait, which basically increases the amount of mana that is being restored every time you collect one of the both thingies. Uh, then, there's Sonya here, that's not good. So let's stun this guy, and uh, he ran away. Uh, he ran away. It's not good. Attack cannons, turrets. Oh, that's fine. All right, so let's uh, move a little bit back. These fighters are gonna do some crazy damage to me if I don't. And we're gonna wait right here and use our chargeable skill. 
I choose this actually um, because this will give me a little bit more mana when I um, when I collect scrap. This is actually a good uh, upgrade to take. But the other one, the choice you had here is this here, which basically um, increases the ability cooldown by three times from two times, making it even a little bit more useful. Um, then you have extra GNT, which basically oh, here, I'm gonna take this. Uh, what this does is uh, it increases the damage of Explodium Charge, which is this skill right here, uh, by 10% um, to a maximum of 100%. So every time you try to stun people using your 3 second charge, it will now do a little bit more damage. And finally, we have Demolitionist, which basically uh, destroys one ammo from every structure that you attack and also does a little bit more damage to structure. So this is also worth it. To take, especially if you're, uh, you're actually planning to be the main tower uh, destroyer. Uh, but I personally prefer to take this because mana can become a problem with this guy. Um, and at level 4, this is what you get. You get 4 choices. Oh, hello. Alright, I was about to stun him, but didn't have to. Oh, this guy has 10 gold. Why? Why did he have 10 gold? Alright, let's go destroy the structures. I'm gonna attack this tower right here, uh, this fort, and explain the four other talents. So you have su um, superiority, which reduces the damage taken from non-heroic enemies. Um, then you have reduce, reuse, and recycle, which basically increases the chance that scrap will be dropped so that you can restore your mana, uh, especially when uh, people and things die around you. This here increases the duration of your your turret by i think it's one second yeah increases the duration by one second so this is kind of worth the take i guess uh but i'm not sure if it's that worth it uh because your turrets last for 30 seconds this will give them uh 31 seconds so i don't know how useful that is and then there's promote which basically um promotes one of the minions um and gives them more damage and gives them a little bit more uh health as well all right perfect so let's actually take um i think i'm gonna take one of these skills and specifically i think i want to take this because i want to have more scrap so that we can get a little bit more mana all right excellent stole their gold excellent and let's attack their attack their towers as well uh at level seven we choose oh we choose to run away. Choose another talent. I'm gonna go heal up. Um, and here we have five choices. Cooldown Mule repairs your towers. First aid heals you. So this is something you may want to consider taking because healing or hit points is kind of a problem for you. Um, then there is two upgrades here. This here um, makes your turrets now slow down targets. So it's actually super useful because it gives you crowd control. So by, uh, it slows down targets by 25% for two seconds. This here gives your turrets a kind of a splash damage, so now they will attack targets around them, but only for 50% of damage. So, uh, there's a bit of a... I think it's a, a bit of a um, increase in DPS, but not dramatic increase. And Mercenary Lord... Oh, crap. Mercenary Lord! I was about to stun them. Uh, Mercenary Lord gives all of the Siege and Bruiser units around you a buff, making them more effective. Let's actually see if I can take these guys. I think I can. Um, so, let's choose something. I think either uh, crowd control or increase in splash damage is quite useful. Um, but I prefer to have crowd control over anything else, so I, I'll take that. Now, let's talk about the Heroic. There's two choices here. One is called Robo Goblin, and what Robo Goblin does is basically it it's a it's a passive upgrade that now gives all your basic attacks 100% 150% damage increase, uh, and that that basically includes everything from um, from minions to mercenaries to structures, but not heroes, unfortunately. Uh, oh, oops, I'm in the wrong spot. <laughs> Strength to return the coins, and then you get another talent that's called uh, Gravel Bomb. And this, what this does is basically, um, it, it sort of places like a bomb in the, in the middle with an AOE um, area of about this big. And after about, what is it, 4 seconds, 3 seconds? No, after a few seconds it explodes and pulls everybody in and damages them as well. It does a little bit of damage, not too much, but it's the pulling part that's important. So it's actually, it's an excellent sort of a crowd control. Alright, oh, that's not cool. 
Uh, hello. How do you do? How about you don't kill me? Oh no. I need to run away from here. Let's freeze them. Alright, perfect. Now let's run away before that thing kills us. And choose the new talent. Uh, do I have the talent? Oh, okay, cool. I have the fountain. Excellent. That thing is totally following me. That is not cool. That's because I killed its master. Alright, so... Um, I'm gonna pick... The, oh, I don't know. I think I'm gonna pick this because it does give you more damage, especially to structures. And I'll show you how much damage you can do. At level 13, you can choose four more talents. Burning Reach is a generic skill that does a little bit of AoE damage around you um, constantly. This here, Easy Peasy Dimensional Ripper, um, basically now gives your death laser a slowdown effect as well. Um, and it also freezes minions and structures for three seconds. So if you want a little bit more crowd control, take that. Um, I personally almost never use this, mostly because of the, uh, the charge thing, which I don't particularly like. As you can see, look at how much damage I do now to minions. This is crazy. This is from uh, the, uh, my heroic upgrade. Basically, you can soon one-shot everything. And now, if I come to structure, 430 damage per hit. That, that is ridiculous. I'm gonna kill this uh, thing in no time. Uh, so this is somewhat useful, but not super useful. Then there's quick release charge, which basically increases the number of bo bomb charges to two, which means that you can now place two bombs that will both stun. So it's actually quite a useful skill, especially if you like to have crowd control. Um, and then we have sprint, which basically increases your sprint, obviously. Um, I personally don't almost never take that because I don't find myself needing it. Um, and freeze! And kill this guy. And look at that, I just kill throw one on one. That's just how crazy his damage gets when he gets up, uh, uh, upgraded. Alright, uh, oh, let's run away, let's not stay here. And also use our Archini and Babui. So if I were to give myself this upgrade now that slows down people, I would be able to slow those guys down. But I personally don't find it as useful as some of the other talents. Um, however, let's actually take it just to... I'm gonna show you what it's like because uh, at level 6, 13 I personally don't find any of these particularly useful. But this might be useful because it does give you a little bit of uh, crowd control. And it gives you a reason to use this a little bit more. Uh, level 16, uh, you get the um, two upgrades to your turret. So this increases the turret range. And this gives you maximum number of turrets to uh, increase to four. So now you can place four turrets. This, I personally think this is really useful. Um, then there is two upgrades for your laser here. Uh, this here um, gives your laser an increased charge speed. So it charges a little bit faster, making it a little bit more useful. This uh, gives your laser uh, a little bit more damage uh, and also I need to run away. Uh, I really need to run away now. Okay, let's go heal. Um, and then stone skin gives you a little bit more health for five seconds. So, um, if you do find yourself using a laser a lot, take one of these, because the, both of them are quite useful, especially this one. Um, I personally prefer to take maximum turret increase, because I will now be able to make four turrets and spam that skill and basically do even more DPS around me. And also, um, it does a little bit of body block as well, so you can actually place a wall of turrets and prevent people from escaping or from reaching you. Like, for example, right... Now, I'm gonna place these turrets here, make like a StarCraft-like strategy of placing turrets. So if anyone tries to chase me, they'll be in a lot of trouble. Right, Sonya? No, sorry, that's not sorry, that's Tessadar. That's Sonya, right here, who just killed me. And at level 20, you get four talents, two of them are great, you heroic. So this here basically gives you a bomb, gives your um, pulling bomb 25% more radius and a little bit more damage. This here uh, gives you even more damage, but now against heroes. So now you'll do crazy damage against heroes. So if you take, if you took the um, Robo Goblin before, which gave you more damage against minions and structures, now you'll also do that damage against heroes, giving you incredibly high DPS. 
Fury of the Storm basically um, creates this type of effect where basically every five seconds your normal attack will deal additional damage um, and all of the nearby minions and people and structures will also take the damage as well. So this is sort of like a um, splash damage every five seconds. It's a little bit useful, but I personally think this is a lot more useful if you took the um, the Robo Goblin upgrade. And then Hardened Shield uh, basically creates a shield for four seconds, is it? Yeah, 75% shield for four seconds. So I just took the Robo Goblin upgrade against heroes. And let's test it on one of these guys as soon as they get to me. Look at that. Look at that. 520 damage. 520 damage to Sonya. Sonya is going down. Sonya is going down. That is crazy damage right here. So, I currently have the highest DPS on this team. Uh, except, of course, I don't have enough hit points to survive the direct tower attack. Which is why I'm going to run away. Well, let's actually place a few towers here. Uh, just to protect ourselves. And also do some additional DPS. There we go. Throw. This is for you. Oh, and here we go. We actually destroyed our tower. Um, but DPS-wise... If you're at level 20 and you took all of the upgrades, especially Robo Goblin, you'll be doing over 500 damage easily. So this is a high, high, high DPS class. And and as a glass cannon high DPS build, you actually need to remember that you don't really have any heals. The only heal that you get is the first aid, which uh, might be worth taking because otherwise you won't be able to heal yourself at all. And so um, even though you will have the highest possible DPS in the game, it's just... Um, it might be difficult for you to play without a healer on your team or without being able to heal yourself with first aid. So if you don't have any healers, take the first aid. Um, other than that, I would really suggest going for the highest DPS possible because this is really where your strength is, especially in destroying towers and buildings and in really dismantling enemies uh, and being this really sort of like a razor sharp knife that cuts through the enemy ranks in no time. Uh, basically what you would do is you would use this um, the explosion charge to stun your enemies for for two seconds then you'd move toward them and um, you know do a few attacks and this would probably cause most of them to run away because you you have some of the craziest DPS in the game talent wise um, definitely consider taking the upgrades to your trait of matic which you uh, which is your main trait so this for example will give you more mana so you don't have to worry about it uh, this will decrease your cooldown um, then at level 4 I would also consider taking um, uh, this here because it also gives you a higher chance of getting scrap or this here which basically increases your turret by one second every time you strike someone in your basic attack. Uh, at level 7 um, first aid is actually the only heal you get so consider taking that. Alternatively you can obviously get a crowd control to your turrets 25% slowdown for 2 seconds or you can give them splash damage increasing DPS against minions. Uh, in terms of heroics, if you do like to have more crowd control, this is actually a very useful one because it, it does pull all of your enemies toward this one central point, um, which you can then either use uh, to stun using your your grenade or to basically you know uh, pull them toward your friends so they can finish them off. Robo Goblin increases your damage dramatically, giving you the highest DPS in the game. At level 13. Um, this right here gives your laser finally some usability in making it a really good crowd controller. It slows down or freezes minions and structures, slows down heroes for 3 seconds. Uh, this increases your other crowd control, um, basically gives you another bomb you can launch and stun more people. Um, at level 16 you can also consider taking an upgrade to your laser or upgrade to your turrets. This will give you 4 turrets, so this is quite useful. Um, however, this will uh, give you laser more damage and this will make it charge faster. So if you want to have more um, active crowd control, take this because it will, you'll be able to cast your laser much faster. And finally at level 20, either upgrade your heroic or consider um, taking this which will give you a little bit more DPS every 5 seconds with additional splash damage as well. So this is actually a really interesting character to play because um, Damage wise, you're insanely, insanely powerful. Hit point wise, you're actually very, very weak. So you consider um, really running a lot and or pre prepare to die a lot. Because as this character, it's really hard to survive an onslaught of more than two heroes. Unless you can stun them and then take care of them using your other skills. Also, do try to use your 
your towers, rocket towers, um, as a body block. Because you can actually create a wall of towers that enemies will not be able to pass. Especially if you have four of these things. You can basically place them in front of you or surround yourself with them in a, in a way. Or uh, create a semicircle so that the enemies cannot actually um, approach you as easily. Anyway, this has been Antirix Zone with Gazlo, the newbie guide to this awesome melee specialist. Hopefully you enjoyed this video, and if you did, leave a like, leave a comment, and also subscribe to our channel. Check out some of the other Heroes of the Storms videos that I've taken a look at, and game you later, guys. Bye-bye.